The hazardous substance calculator helps anyone in control of a workplace to do two things. One, prepare an online inventory of the hazardous substances present in your workplace. Two, find out the main controls you need in place to manage the risks associated with these. This video is about the sequence you follow to prepare a new inventory. First, you need to read and accept the disclaimer. This explains what the calculator does and does not do. You'll then see the landing page. There are three main functions. We'll focus on the first of these. Create a new inventory. Choose if the inventory is for substances in closed or open containers. If you have both, you'll need to create two separate inventories. Give your inventory a name. Once the inventory is created, you'll see your inventory name here and also a unique PIN number. WorkSafe can't find your PIN or send it to you later, so it's important you record this straight away. What's happening here is that when you create a new inventory, it is saved online for future use. It remains private and you'll need to enter your PIN number to bring it up again. For convenience, you can click here to send the PIN to your email address. It helps at this stage to have safety data sheets at hand. The more information you have, the better. If you don't have a safety data sheet, or your copy is more than five years old, request one from your supplier. Here's a few more tips on safety data sheets. First, the calculator does not work for any explosives. Second, check your substance actually is a hazardous substance. One way to tell is read section 2 of your safety data sheet, which would say if the substance is hazardous. Safety data sheets are arranged by numbered sections. The sections we discuss here are the ones to look at when creating an inventory. Section 1 has a product name and often other identifying codes and descriptions. Section 2 has hazard classification numbers. Sections 7 and 10 have handling and storage information. Section 14, transport information, including the UN number, class and packing group. Section 15, regulatory information. This is a good place to look for HASNA approval numbers or group standard names. OK, back to the calculator. It provides several steps to help you identify each substance you want to add to your inventory. First, click here to add a substance. For common substances, such as petrol, diesel and LPG, enter the name into the calculator. However, because there are so many products out there, the calculator does not know all the brand names. So in many cases, you will need to instead enter the product's has no approval number. You'll find this in section 15 of the product's safety data sheet. Another option is to enter the name of the group standard to which the product belongs. If applicable, this would also be in section 15 of your safety data sheet. You can now enter a name for the substance. This can be the brand name or other name you commonly use. Enter the UN number if known. You'll find this in section 14 of the safety data sheet. Enter any specific storage and segregation requirements. Take the relevant information for your workplace from section 7 and 10 of the safety data sheet. Select the substance location. The calculator may then ask if you know the substance classifications. These would be in section 2 of your safety data sheet. If you do, enter all the classifications that apply. If you don't, and the substance has a UN number, enter the UN class and the UN packing group. Complete the remaining fields with information relevant to your workplace. OK, you can now add this substance. On the left, you'll see the substance you added. 
On the right are the key controls you need. Click Add a Substance to add the next substance in your inventory and continue until complete. In this series, there is another video where we'll look at the results and run through additional features.